Lord, open my lips to praise your holy name. Cleanse my heart of any worthless, evil, or distracting thoughts. Give me the wisdom and love necessary to pray this office with attention, reverence, and devotion. Father, let my prayer be heard in your presence, for it is offered through Christ our Lord. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended you, and I detest all my sins because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell, but most of all because they offend you, my God, who are all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve with the help of your grace to confess my sins, to do penance, and to amend my life. Amen. Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee. All on earth thy scepter claim. All in heaven above adore thee. Infinite thy vast domain, everlasting is thy reign. Infinite thy vast domain, everlasting is thy reign. Hark the loud celestial hymn. Angel choirs above are raising, cherubim and seraphim, in unceasing chorus praising, fill the heavens with sweet accord, holy, holy, holy Lord, fill the heavens with sweet accord, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, Holy Father, Holy Son, Holy Spirit, three we name Thee, while in essence only one, undivided God we claim Thee, and adoring bend the knee, while we own the mystery and adoring bend the knee while we own the mystery day and night i cry to you my god lord my god i call for help by day i cry at night before you let my prayer come into your presence. O oh, turn your ear to my cry, for my soul is filled with evils. My life is on the brink of the grave. I am reckoned as one in the tomb. I have reached the end of my strength. Like one alone among the dead, like the slain lying in their graves, like those you remember no more, cut off as they are from your hand. You have laid me in the depths of the tomb, in places that are dark in the depths. Your anger weighs down upon me. I am drowned beneath your waves. You have taken away my friends and made me hateful in their sight. Imprisoned, I cannot escape. My eyes are sunken with grief. I call to you, Lord, all the day long. To you I stretch out my hands. Will you work your wonders for the dead? Will the shades stand and praise you? Will your love be told in the grave? Or your faithfulness among the dead? Will your wonders be known in the dark? Or your justice in the land of oblivion? As for me, Lord, I call to you for help. In the morning my prayer comes before you. Lord, why do you reject me? Why do you hide your face? 
wretched, close to death, from my youth. I have borne your trials. I am numb. Your fury has swept down upon me. Your terrors have utterly destroyed me. They surround me all day like a flood. They assail me altogether. Friend and neighbor, you have taken away. My one companion is darkness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Day and night I cry to you, my God. Today's reading is from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 9. You are in our midst, O Lord. Your name we bear. Do not forsake us, O Lord, our God. The Word of the Lord. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. You have redeemed us, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep. That awake we may keep watch with Christ, and asleep rest in his peace. Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake, watch over us as we sleep, that awake we may keep watch with Christ, and asleep rest in his peace. All-powerful God, keep us united with your Son in his death and burial, so that we may rise to new life with him, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May the all-powerful Lord grant us a restful night and a peaceful death. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile. Show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, our refuge and our strength, look down with mercy upon your people who cry to you. And by the intercession of the glorious and immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God, of St. Joseph, her spouse, of the blessed apostles Peter and Paul, and of all the saints, and in your mercy and goodness, hear our prayers for the conversion of sinners and for the liberty and exaltation of our Holy Mother, the Church. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen.